ability to explain myself. I don't know what else to do but fight back. Oh, that was Meseret Kamalchu uh, talking to our reporter. Yes, Captain Wright is from Dyslexia Action, watching that with us. Okay. I mean, the, the impact it had on, on one person's life, a mistake because of the condition that ended up, as she said, making her suicidal. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Absolutely, and um, employees do need to recognise that dyslexia is recognised under the Disability Discrimination Act and that they do need to make some reasonable adjustments for people with disabilities in the workplace. And in that case, she says she had alerted her employers to the fact that uh, she had dyslexia. Absolutely, um, and so she did all the right things and she explained to the employer what she needed um, and it's really important for employers to actually recognise that they have to make some reasonable adjustments. Um, and it doesn't have to be vast amounts. It could be just a bit of extra time, it could be an extra bit of training. Just teaching in a different way often. Um, maybe um, different technological um, aspects. Um, depends on what the person's job is. Mm. It's interesting, isn't it? Because, you know, in order for employers to do that, do, could you, do they actually have to have a diagnosis? Of dyslexia as well. Do you sort of mean because it gets into sort of because some people may have it in a mild form, yes. others in a very different form. Yeah, I mean a lot of people actually will go and get the diagnosis, and you do need that to actually have the recognition under the DDA. Right. Um, so, but um, when you actually have a diagnosis, they do look at all the different aspects of dyslexia and other hidden disabilities because it may not just be dyslexia; it could be dyspraxia or dyscalculia, etc. There is other hidden disabilities out there as well. Um, and there are so many advantages actually to being dyslexic. Um, there, there's so many, um, we've got really strong visual skills. Um, so often it's really important for employers to recognise that actually it can be an advantage to hire somebody with dyslexia. Mm. Well, is that message getting through though? Because I can imagine if you, if you are dyslexic and you're trying to get a job, instinctively you might be thinking, do you know what, that's the last thing I, I should tell them for fear that they'll just automatically go, well, we won't take that one, we'll take that one, which it, yes. in itself would Absolutely. be an offence, wouldn't it? But instinctively, yes. that might be the way you're thinking. And that's why employers should actually um, you know, see past that. Um, when somebody's maybe applying for a job, they should look for somewhere that has a two-tick symbol, which is recognising dis disabilities. Um, so the employer actually is recognising that from the start. Um, but somebody with a disability can actually open a discourse up whenever they feel like it. So, sorry, just explain that for us. So, when you're when you're applying for a job, you can find out about the company you're applying yes. to, whether they've what adhered to certain certain principles. Yeah, and um, the two tick symbol, which is a recognition that they're um, recognising disabilities, um, and a lot of it is through the HR uh, aspect of things. Um, so, they give people uh, equal rights, basically. Um, so that's uh, an area where people can look at if they've got a disability so they know that they're an equal opportunities employer. Mm, okay. Um, Catherine Wright, thank you very much for talking to us. And uh, we should say as well in a statement, Starbuck told us that, that they believe the diverse and inclusive workforce reflects who they are as a company and were committed to make sure...